Monthly Review, Semester 1, Physics. First, we begin by lenses. We have two types of lenses, converging lens and diverging lens. Converging lens. It has thin edge and thick at the center. Like thin edge, thick center. Thin edge, thick. Thin, thick. It converts all beam of light at one point. That beam of light converts all in one point. It can be used as a magnifier. Representation of converging lens. This is the symbol of converging lens. Object focus is a point in the side where the object can place. Image focus, it is symmetric of F with respect to O. Focal length, it is the distance from O to F prime. Optical center is a point in the middle lens. Any ray passing through the optical center continues without deviation. Rays of converging lens. Converging lens have a fibrine. Any ray parallel to the optical axis emerge the lens passing through a fibrine. Any ray passing through the optical center continue without deviation. Any ray passing through a emerge the lens parallel to the optical axis. Diverging lens. It has thick edge and thin at the center. Thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. It diverts a beam of light. Beam of light. Diverts means separate. Diverging lens. Symbol of diverging lens, F prime image focus in the side of the object, F object focus, low optical center. Rays of diverging, two specific rays. First, diverging, F prime here, F here. So, any ray parallel to the optical axis emerge the lens as it coming from a fibrime as it coming from a fibrime another ray passing through the optical center continue without deviation converging or diverging in the figure below specify with justification whether the lens converging or diverging. First lens, L1, thick edge, thin at the center, so it is diverging. Here, the emergent ray directed toward the optical axis, so it is converging. L3, Beam of light separate, so diverging. Lamp image focus. The image focus in the direction of propagation of light, so it is diverging. The image a prime B prime of object A B collected on the screen. A prime B prime on the screen. So it is converging. A prime B prime greater than A B. So it is converging. We use the lens as a magnifier 
when converging lens gives a virtual image erect and greater than the object. We use the lens as a projector when converging lens gives a real image inverted and greater than the object. We use a Jodas, we use the lens as a Jodas hole when a diverging lens gives a virtual image erect and less than the object. As the object between O and F, the image is virtual and we use this lens as a magnifier. As the object between F and to F, the image is real and we use the lens as a projector. As the image more than R to F, its image is real and use it as a camera. At 2F, we use as a photocopy. At F, there is no image. Test exercise. Choose the best answer. The focal length of a diverging lens is, is always negative. Number two. When the object is placed at 2F, its image formed at 2F prime. Number three, when the lens gives an image inverted bigger than the object and real, then the lens plays the role of overhead projector. Number four, any ray parallel to the optical axis emerges the converging lens. Any ray parallel to the optical axis emerges the converging lens toward the image focus. Second exercise. For each statement, write true or false and correct the false one. The image is inverted with respect to the object. True. Number two. The lens L acts as a photocopy in a given case. False. Not photocopy. It is camera. The lens L. Acts as a camera in the given case. Since the image is less than the object. Number three, the focal length L is two centimeter. First, join B, B prime. Then draw a parallel line from B to the optical axis, this optical axis, toward B line. So, which of us is at M? So, focal length is equal to centimeter. So, it is true. Four, the optical center of L is point M. False. The optical center center is of L is R. Five. The image focus of L is N. False. The image focus is um. Yes. Six. L is diverging lens. False. L is converging. Third exercise, a converging lens L gives a luminous object AB of size 2 cm, a real image A'B prime prime of size 3 cm. A is on the optical axis of the lens, the distance AA prime 10 cm. So AB equal 2 cm, A prime B prime equal 
equal 3 cm and AA prime equal 10 cm. Number one, the image A prime B prime is inverted. Justify this statement. Since the image is given by a converging lens is real, so it must be also inverted. Since the image given by a converging lens is real, so it must be also inverted. Number two, we draw a diagram with real scale on graph paper showing A, B, A prime, B prime and optical axis. So draw optical axis, draw AB 2 cm, AB 2 cm, distance between A, A prime is 10 cm, then you draw image A prime, B prime, inverted image A prime, B prime 3 cm. The determined by geometrical construction the position of optical center of L. Object A B image A prime B prime. Determine the position of O optical center join B B prime. Join B B. The intersection with optical axis is optical center so join B B prime by a line that meets the optical axis at O which is optical center since B O B prime are collinear for represent the diagram draw a perpendicular at O it is Determine by geometrical construction the position of image focus at the prime. Draw a ray parallel to the optical axis from B, merge the lens to B prime. The intersection of this ray and optical axis is at the prime. from B ray parallel to optical axis and merge the lens passing Determine the focal length of L. Determine the focal length. Focal length it is the distance between O as the prime. So F equals O as the prime equals 
مجال او اف برايم ايكوال او First exercise. The document below represents a type of converging lens, optical axis, object A, B, and screen E. The image A1, B1 is formed on the screen. Number one, redraw. Redraw with the same scale. Specify, number two, Specify the justification position of A1 of object A. So, A is situated at the optical axis. Therefore, A1 is situated at optical axis and the intersection of E and Number three, trace with necessary explanation the path from this ray which allows the determination of the position of B1. The lens ray issued from B passing through optical center continue without deviation. The intersection of this ray and screen E represents B1. B character, uh, characteristic of image A1B1 gives the nature of A1B1 and its length. Nature length A1B1. Nature it is real image. Length of A1B1 A1B1. So it is two. 1, 2, multiply by the scale, which is 2, so it's equal to 4 centimeters. Number 2, is the image A1B1 inverted or erect? A1B1 is inverted. It is A1B1, 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 and that's object AB, so it's inverted with respect to AB. 3. Find the distance OA1. OA1, the distance from O to A1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Equal 6. Multiply by the scale, which is 5. So, it's equal to 30 centimeters. C. Determination of focal length of L. Trace with justification the path of Roman ray, which allows the determination of the position. The image focus of the brain. Draw a ray optical axis from B. Emerge the lens to B1. To B1. The intersection of 
vertical axis is F prime. So the minus ray should from B parallel to optical axis emerge the lens to B1. The intersection with optical axis is after two did use the value of focal length L so focal length of the brine here focal length is equal to the distance from O to of the brine so O of the brine one two two multiply by the scale which is five equal to 10 centimeters and finally good work